guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Dunesan. I'm Dishinka. All right, guys, so welcome to part two of the Beijing series. Yes. And right now, where are we, baby? We're Tiananmen Street here in Beijing, and we're about to have some lunch. Yeah. So, so we're going to be trying what, baby? So we're going to be trying out the very famous Munding Robing, the yeah. famous doorknob meat pie, yeah. and another kind of different dishes which we're going to keep for you guys to see. Yeah. So sit back, relax, and hope you guys enjoy this vlog. Okay, they have tram tracks on it. Yeah. I think maybe they used to have trams in Beijing. Yeah. Like maybe they yeah. might have had. Yeah. Or if you guys know what kind of track it is, yeah. let us know. Yeah. So baby, like what do you feel about this street? Like isn't it like very like it's it's very old European and like, yeah, European because like these trees guys like they're not the tropical trees that we get in Bondra. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> so and like this Clear blue sky, everything here is like really big, like it's nice and spacious. Yeah. Oh, it smells so good. Introduce to you the most iconic drink of Beijing. Okay, it's called Bei Bing Yang, and it's basically a Mandarin soda okay. that's made here in Beijing. Okay, so you get this actually all over uh, China. We find it in Guangzhou as well, but we haven't tried it yet. We yeah. kept it specially, you know, when if and when we ever come to Beijing, we'll have to try it. So now we're here, and we're gonna have it with our meal. Nice. So firstly, guys, for our Entree, right? Yeah, entree, entree yeah. yeah, you can see it. We ordered a soup, so it's millet soup, okay? okay. So, so, what is millet? I have no idea. I think it's a grain. Okay, so it's a type of I grain. I think it's a type of grain. Okay. You can see, guys, like it's like little, little ones, you know? Little, little things here. Yeah. So, I've never had millet before. Yeah. So, this is also a first for me. Yeah. And you can see that it's piping hot. Yes, it is. So, I'm just going to take a spoon, yeah. roll on it. Okay, this is very plain tasting, guys, okay. but it's very comforting. Okay, you know, is it like, sweet, savory? It's like having like rice. Oh, like congee. congee. Yeah, but without any flavor. Okay. You know, okay. like it's just like it's just nice and warming. You know, okay. especially right now because it's cold yeah. here. It is very cold freezing. is an understatement. It's freezing here. <laughs> it's freezing. So this warm, hot, sorry, this hot soup yeah. is like basically just warming your soul. Okay, It's really nice. comforting. Like yeah. the texture is really nice. There's yeah. not much of a flavor to it. Yeah. But texture-wise, it's, it's very nice. 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 Alright guys, so next up we have here the enema. Fried enema. Okay. Ooh. So basically what this is, is guys, is fried sweet potato starch. And over here with it, you have a garlic sauce dipping. Garlic dipping sauce. <laughs> garlic dipping sauce. Okay. All right, Denison, start dipping for us. Let's dip, dip. Okay, let's take. Shall I have one without any dip first? Okay, try, yeah? try. Ooh. Crunchy, right? Oh, that's nice. Yeah. No flavor. Yeah. But, but the crunchiness exactly. and the fried texture is there. I think that's why they say to dip it. Yeah. But no flavor. Yeah. But let's go for the dip. This dip. Baby, that dip just has a nice, like, strong smell yeah. of like garlic. Now, let's go for the. Let's go oh. for it. Oh my god. Dude, what flavors? What flavors? It's not just uh, ginger, by the way. Sorry, it's not just garlic. It's also got, like, some sort of, like, a um, vinegary sauce. Vinegary sauce to it, so yeah. it's a nice punch. Sweetie, this is good. Like, it's not an overpowering like uh, flavor of the uh, garlic, but at the same time, like it's complementing well with the fried enema. Oh wow! I have seen this. It's mm. like such a common like Beijing snack. Snack, no? Yeah. So I oh, really wanted nice. us to try it out. 
you know what? I think this is going to be best fit. Oh, exactly. This exactly. Should I open it? Yeah, open it. Open yeah. it up. All right, guys. So let's open up this. Uh, Babe. So what is this? Like, a, what do you call it? It's a mandarin soda. It's a mandarin soda. Let's open yeah. up the Beijing mandarin soda. All righty. With the straw or without the straw? With the straw. With the straw. With the straw. Yeah. Let's this bad boy here. Now, time for the taste test. Mm. Straight from Beijing. Okay, tell me, is it different to Fanta? It's very, very different to Fanta. Yeah. You know what it's closer to? What is it? Orangina, have you had? No, I can't remember. Okay, for Europeans out there, you probably would have had something called Orangina. It's like, um, how do I say it? It's an orange drink. Yeah. Okay. Not, it's actually quite different from Fanta, even though okay. Fanta is also considered as an orange drink. The color itself is actually yellow, guys. Oh. It's yellow, it's not orange. Nice. Okay. Uh, but I actually like this better. Than Fanta. Because it's got a bit of a more natural orange taste to it. That's what orange in also yeah. has. More natural orange in Like orange taste. Uh, whereas Fanta, you get that artificial orange thing. Yeah, know? yeah. I actually like this. Ooh. I actually like this one. Wow. This is good, guys. And I think, okay, you know what? Let me just do it. This is a promise. Promises were made. One oh bite of God. this. And then have oh the... <laughs> Welcome to Beijing, guys. <laughs> Sweet, what a combo, baby. Oh. What a combo. Yeah. You have to try this, guys. If you can't get this three, try it. So guys, now on to the most iconic Beijing dish, okay? It's literally called Menting Rubing because it is named after the doorknobs on the Forbidden City Palace doors, okay? So it's shaped like that. Actually, when we go to the Forbidden City, I'll actually show you guys a little <laughs> preview of that. Right now, we're going to cut to actually the Shinka oh, yeah. in the future, who's going to be telling you guys and showing you about this. Yes. Thank you, Dushinka from the past. Now guys, let me tell you about the Mending Roping. So, can you see these? This is what it's shaped after. It looks quite similar, right, yeah. to it? So basically guys, it was actually made by a chef for the empress, one of the empresses in, uh, in the past. Oh, okay. And she was quite a fussy empress, right? So she wanted something oh. new every day. Okay. And the chef one day just thought, you know, he didn't have any idea. Yeah. He just made a meat pie, yeah. just put it together and weirdly enough, the empress loved it. Okay. And then she called up him to her and then asked what do you call this dish yeah. and he was like he was like just blank he didn't know what to say to her at that time yeah. so he just said oh it's called a doorknob pie you know yeah. because he just thought oh yeah it looks like this yeah. so that's what this is you know that's how the pie came about so now back to you Dushinka from the past thank you Dushinka from the future for explaining <laughs> that to us so guys as you can see it looks exactly like those doorknobs so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna open it up yeah. because I think inside it's quite warm okay we don't want to burn our mouth so you don't eat it like a bun baby huh? you don't eat it like a bun uh, or you first open it get open the steam out yeah. and then uh oh uh-oh, Just poke a hole. Ah, there's juices coming out. That's fine. I don't know if you guys can see how oh, juicy it is. But it's very, very mm, juicy. And I don't so think I can... Meat. There's so much meat, guys. Nice. Is it beef, baby? Yeah, Lovely. it's beef. Can you see so this? Yeah, I can smell it. It's so oh, nice. It smells so good. Okay, guys, I think I'm just going to eat this, like, filling separate yeah. to the pastry. Okay, you can look. Can you see all the little parts in this? Like the oh. onion, the scallion, the ginger, garlic. Mm. <laughs> oh my god. Guys, that is just so heartwarming. Is it spicy? No, not spicy at all. Yeah. You won't get spicy here, guys. Like in the north, you don't get spice, but it's so hearty, so flavorful, and nice and oniony. And you have a nice bit of like, you know, the spring onion, garlic, oh, and then the, it's so juicy. And it's just so good because we came at the right time, you know, the reason yeah. to be having this food. Oh, yeah? I feel at the Be winter time. Yeah, Be really? Beijing food, I think, just shines during the winter time, yeah. you know. 
like during the cold weather because it's so hearty and so flavorful it just shines and the meat the meat is just so Love good it. in this weather guys it is so good okay i'm eating a bit of the crust yeah mm. oh. nice and crispy juicy and it's a bit soft and squishy and it soaks up the juices so well listen this is just a meat pie from heaven guys if you're an aussie and you love your meat pies you're gonna love this this is just perfect perfect and last but not least guys we've got here the roti with some meat stuffing okay so it just basically looks like a paratha roti on the yeah. outside and inside there's a a healthy amount of juicy wow. meat curry smelling stuffing yes <laughs> <laughs> okay so i can't wait to try this so yeah. let's go for it it's like a pizza oh my god this and it looks so juicy it is sweet Look and at it this. has a thick piece of like yeah. meat yeah oh Look, my all god. the curry like flavors wow it looks so good shall i go yep go for that bite <laughs> so this is beef meat as well guys yeah. that fattiness of the beef that flavor the juice oh my god sweetie this is so good baby i feel like you know the fattiness of this can yeah. all be cut with the baby young mm. you know the mandarin soda no. look at how much meat they've used here guys guys and this is like this is a big plate this is right? this is a big plate yeah Sweetie, I'm in love with this. This is so good, guys. Mm. Beijing knows how to do it, guys. Oh, wow. Must try. Must, must try. Nason, you seem to be enjoying this a lot. Yes, I am. And guys, I'm just going to give you some pro tips uh, on my behalf. So when you're having this, uh, the millet soup, mm -hmm. I would ideally say when you get, get one of these meat stuff or the meat dishes or even like the fried, the fried enema dish, okay, take the big bite. Well, Mm. If this combination is not good, please contact me, okay, <laughs> and tell me that it's not good because I'm so confident you will like it. It's like warm and soothing flavor mixed with that meaty, juicy flavor. Oh. It's like a marriage made in heaven, probably. Yes, and also the specialty with this one as well, the fried enema, when you dip it in that nice vinegary garlic sauce, okay, and then you go for that bite. And quickly. Nathan, you just look. It's like some sort of magic happens. It's like I'm orchestrating flavors, you know? <laughs> guys. You look like you're in your element right now. Wow, guys, this is so good and it's a must must try i feel like it really brings out the the beijingness you know if you want to really feel the culture of beijing try these food items and i think you have had a good uh, share of beijing all right guys so that was an amazing amazing meal oh that was i think the perfect introduction to our be to beijing cuisine exactly yeah that you was know? a very very nice intro to the beijing cuisine and and it just got our taste buds tingling exactly. and we can't wait to try out the Some other more. food exactly. well over here. Yeah. So that comes to the end of this vlog guys, but stay tuned for more Beijing series vlogs. And until next time guys, bye bye.